animators sure are a special sort. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdest animated movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the strangest cartoons with the trippiest animation or subject matter. Only feature-length films will be considered, while anime will be left for another day. Plus romantique que la leçon de piano. Comment vous faites de la musique? Ouais. Number 10. Heavy Metal This adult cartoon opens with an astronaut riding a Corvette through space before smoothly landing on Earth. It is the last time things will be so normal. Do not try to escape. You are in my control. Look at me. I am the sum of all evil. An anthology film based on various short stories published in Heavy Metal magazine, the plot threads center around an evil orb that has led humanity astray throughout time and space, although this is primarily used as an excuse to animate as much gory violence as possible. Heavy Metal is pure, unadulterated wish fulfillment, and the animation is simultaneously dynamic and crude. Even during the early 80s, Heavy Metal was hardly a beacon of good taste, but most segments are laughably sexist by today's standards. Do not sacrifice yourself. You cannot destroy me. Number 9. Coraline Cartoons rarely tackle horror, but this spooky movie suggests it might not be such a bad idea. Mom? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. Based on Neil Gaiman's 2002 novel, the film sees the title character lured into an alternate reality inhabited by button-eyed copies of the girl's parents and neighbors. Initially, she views this universe as paradise, but it soon becomes apparent that other mother and other father are far from wholesome. No way! You're not sewing buttons in my eyes! Oh, but we need a yes if you want to stay here. So sharp, you won't feel a thing. Ow! Coraline's plot is unsettling and borderline demented, but its creep factor is enhanced by the 3D stop-motion animation, which, let's be honest, tends to always be slightly nightmarish. You're just a copy she made of the real Mr. B. Not even that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8. Anomalisa Charlie Kaufman's body of work is packed with quirky and unusual tales, but the director's 2015 animated comedy drama elevated weird to a whole other level. Each person you speak to has had a day. Some of the days have been good, some bad, but they've all had one. Based on an audio play written by Kaufman, Anomalisa centers around a guy who perceives everyone with an identical face and voice, including the protagonist's own spouse and child. Created using 3D printers, Anomalisa's puppets are disturbingly realistic, but this element adds to the story's restless and uneasy atmosphere. Oh my god, ugh, don't, don't look at me! Hello. No, you look lovely. The first R-rated film to earn an Academy Award nomination for Best Animated Feature, Anomalisa, like most of Coffin's movies, will haunt your dreams and touch your heart. Well, I'm certainly very flattered. Number 7. The Cosmic Eye Known for their experimental animation style and the occasional contribution to Sesame Street, Faith and John Hubley won three Oscars during the 1950s and 60s. Serving as almost a celebration of the couple's work, The Cosmic Eye is a message movie foretelling the demise of humankind as a result of its own selfish and destructive nature. While the movie's heavy-handed theme has not aged well, The Cosmic Eye's surreal animation remains a sight to behold. Rather than focusing on the mirror details, the visuals recreate humanity's history in the form of abstract and colorful imagery that are only loosely connected by a plot. Number 6. Son of the White Mare 
otherworldly tends to be thrown around with ridiculous abandon. But there's no phrase better suited to describe this Hungarian film. <laughs> Loosely inspired by Hanuk and Avaric folktales, Son of the White Mare's plot cares little about logic or reality, and should be regarded as an epic tale in the vein of Homer's The Odyssey. Nem sajnálom a fejem. Van még elég. Even the movie's title is literal and not metaphorical. In order to do justice to such a grandiose story, Son of the White Mare's animation disregards conventional art in favor of fluorescent colors, jaw-dropping landscapes, and transformative editing that twists reality into something alien. Number 5. Wizards the weirdest thing about Ralph Bakshi's insane movie is that it somehow secured a PG rating. The key to creating hysteria, fear. An advocate for adult animation, Bakshi tried and failed to create a family film with 1977's Wizards, a cartoon laced with Nazi imagery and featuring a fairy whose nipples refuse to ever relax. There has been a war, and this land is lost. Why can't we fight and win, Mommy? Because they have weapons and technology. We just have love. The film's nature versus technology central motif is nothing too unique, but Bakshi blends numerous animation styles to create a disjointed but effective experience. Think your sword is always quick, but what else? Think! Also, what children's show would be complete without a couple of scenes lifted from the Nazi propaganda movie Triumph of the Will? Number 4. Waking Life while most are probably familiar with 2006's A Scanner Darkly, Richard Linklater had already created a feature-length film using the same animation techniques we came to associate with that film. It's like you come onto this planet with a crayon box. Now you may get the 8-pack, you may get the 16-pack, but it's all in what you do with the crayons, the colors, that you're given. Tackling philosophical topics like existentialism and consciousness, Waking Life dreamily shifts from one complex conversation to the next, leading the protagonist to reflect upon the nature of reality and time. Seems like everyone's sleepwalking through their waking state or wakewalking through their dreams. Either way, they're not going to get much out of it. To further enhance the film's ethereal mood, Linklater used rotoscoping to draw over normal footage, resulting in Waking Life's stylized visuals and seeing to it that the film lands somewhere in the middle between an animated and a live-action film. Life is a matter of a miracle that is collected over time by moments flabbergasted to be in each other's presence. Number 3. Yellow Submarine The Beatles' influence does not begin and end with music. After starring in a pair of live-action comedy features packed with musical numbers, the Fab Four dropped a psychedelic cartoon that could not have been further removed from Disney and Hollywood's more conventional output. Here comes Ringo. There goes Ringo. Now, in all fairness, the actual Beatles appear in only one scene, but Yellow Submarine only exists due to the group's popularity and contractual obligations. Set in an artistic utopia that's attacked by the music-loathing Blue Meanies, Yellow Submarine never attempts to weave a cohesive narrative, but the absurd story complements the limited animation and surreal backgrounds. All you need is love. Yeah. Number 2. Consuming Spirits a passion project painstakingly crafted by Chris Sullivan, work on the film commenced in 1996 and lasted for about 15 years. This is all relevant. Just be patient. A slice-of-life drama set in a fictional town forgotten by the rest of the world, Consuming Spirits follows three journalists who have long abandoned any aspirations of prosperity and are seemingly happy to wither away while chasing pointless leads or grown men in deer costumes. I do enjoy certain aspects. Of the bachelor lifestyle. Echoing the townspeople's disconnect and apathy towards each other, Consuming Spirits animation blends various art styles to present a fragmented and intensely tragic reality. Uh, I don't want you to be true. I just want to make love to you. Just a reminder that we did not include anime on this list because otherwise it would probably have been dominated with it. But as it stands, we had plenty of fever-dreamy animated films to choose from for our list. 
So before we find out the number one weirdest movie, let's get freaky with some honorable mentions. Well, <laughs> Angel Fish is just like piloting a river. You get to know the shape of it. Like following a hall at home in the dark. And even if you feel some fear, you know no harm can come to you. But you travel that hallway a hundred times. Nothing but bare feet and faith. Number one, Fantastic Planet. Steeped in socio-political allegories, Fantastic Planet sees massive aliens replace humans at the top of the food chain. Diva, vous avez troublé la méditation de votre mère. Si vous ne parvenez pas à discipliner cet animal, je devrais vous l'enlever. Even though the ohms are clearly human, Fantastic Planet's parable is visualized with a strikingly alien aesthetic, which was composed using cutout animation and stop motion. <laughs> When not commenting on racism, slavery, or animal rights, the film takes viewers on a hallucinatory journey via a series of gorgeous but discomforting pictures. You have to consider the hommes as de simple animals malfaisants. And I crains that we ne commettions là une error lourde de consequences. Despite tackling some big topics, the movie's story is basically irrelevant and serves as little more than a justification for Roland Topol's illustrations. However, Fantastic Planet's individual scenes would not look out of place as part of an art exhibition. Ni les dragues n'ont intérêt à se détruire. Il nous faut tenter de faire la paix. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.